MESA 2012, brought to you by Groove 3. Hi, it's Russ from MESA 2012, and we will halt from Focusrite, new ISA 2, dual mono mic preamp. Good news. So, uh, do you want to tell us all about it? What's what are the new features that we're going to see on this one, Will? So, the ISA2 is a two-channel version of the um, the original ISA110 circuitry that was used um, on the module that was specified by George Martin of Rupert Neve. So, Rupert Neve founded Focusrite in 1985, and um, the design that he came up with has lived on today in the current range of ISA series products. So, we've got two mic pre's, as you'd expect from the name. Variable input impedance. We've got four different values of input impedance for the mic input, including the ISA 110 value. So you can get really the best out of any microphone, whether it's a ribbon, condenser, or uh, traditional dynamic mic. Uh, you've got an input selector as well, so we've got mic, line, and instrument inputs. Um, we get up to 80 dB of gain, which is a lot of gain. So uh, most other preamps on the market are doing about 70 dB, maybe a little bit more. And we can actually go up to 80 dB. That's shared between the transformer input, which is a Lundahl LL1538 transformer, um, and also the circuitry. So the transformer provides 20 decibels of gain. We also have a variable frequency high pass filter. That's variable between 16 and 420 uh, hertz. And you can switch that in and out on the front panel here. On the rear panel, we've actually got um, balanced insert points. So just over here, we've got balanced send and receive and there's a switch on the front panel to, uh, to switch that in and out. Just over here, you'll see what I think is one of the coolest features of, uh, of ISA2, is um, a knob to allow you to calibrate the meters on the front panel. So you can actually line up the, uh, the ISA2 pre's and the metering with your interface or with your analog system, and you can build in headroom. So you can know that even though the red light is coming on, it's actually six dBs or 10 dBs lower than the clipping point of your system. So it's pretty cool. So obviously it's picking up the heritage of the whole Rupert Neve originality in there. What was the vision behind this? Why, why are we seeing a two now? Do you think, the, what, what, were the, what was the thinking when you came to build this thing? So there are, there are two reasons behind it. So um, firstly, a lot of people are actually, um, you know, if you look at the 428, for example, they might actually only want to use two of those pre's a lot of the time. And so there's quite a lot of people who would think, okay, well, I could spend the money on four channels, but really I'm gonna be using two. Likewise, there's the ISA1, which provides one channel of mic pre um, with the DI, but they might wanna do stereo recordings. So the ISA2 really fills that gap in between and allows people to do high quality stereo recording with an ISA product without having to have extra preamps that they may not require. And if you think about most of the things that we record in a studio, a small project studio certainly, acoustic guitar, you might want two microphones, piano, probably two microphones, and really this caters for most situations where, where you'd need that. And the other thing is it, it brings the ISA pre to another more affordable price point, so it's, it's more reachable for those in, um, in home studios and also high-end uh, high project studios who, uh, who want that ISA sound, but maybe don't have the cash to, to spend on the 428 or 828. Which leads me, of course, to the million dollar question. What, what, what's this going to be streeting at? Have you got any ideas yet? The typical street price in the UK will be £699.99, so just under the £700 mark. Fantastic. When's it shipping? It's shipping from our factory this week, so it will be in stores across the UK and worldwide within the next two months. Fantastic. Brilliant. Thanks for your time. Have a great show. Thanks, Russ. <laughs>